So today feels a little warmer than it has been. It's been pretty breezy, so it's been feeling a little bit chilly out. But uh, today is nice. I can lose the down sweater and go with the uh, lighter sweater or jacket, whatever you want to call this. So this is a state park here, which is open from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. or thereabouts, and it's a nice spot. There's plenty of really easy walking trails, and of course they uh, go right near the, uh, the ocean here, which is my favorite place to uh, hike or walk around. Uh, the only thing is there's not a whole lot of places to get down to the ocean because there's pretty much cliffs all the way around. But there is a little spot here that is easy to get down to the water, so that's where I'm heading at the moment. One thing I've noticed here with these little trails is uh, there are a bunch of trails that go along the cliffs here, but some of them get really close to the edge of the cliff. And those are not quite so comfortable for me. And of course, if you're not feeling like a mountain goat, there are all the little easy trails up on the top of the bluff. You don't have to deal with the uh, sharp and steep rocks here, but I think the view is a little bit better and there's fewer people that go down there onto the rocks. So if you want a little solitude, it's definitely uh, worth the little effort of climbing around. I'd really like to hang around here all day, uh, but I've been doing plenty of that over the last couple of days, and I've got other things I need to take care of. Uh, for one, I need to get some groceries. It's been quite a while since I've stocked up on groceries. Bought a couple of little things here while I've been in town, but uh, I've been trying to not spend too much money, which makes what I'm gonna say sound a little bit crazy. I would really like to buy some new shoes. These are looking a little bit ratty and a little bit worn out, uh, but they are expensive. And even though they are expensive, I have been thinking about replacing them finally. I think these are over two years old, but that needs a little bit of explanation. So there are a few reasons why I want to replace these shoes, and I'll give you one of them now, maybe one and a half. Uh, right now that I'm thinking about. Uh, for one, they are getting worn out. Uh, not only do they look pretty bad, but they're starting to not function very well. And one of the big selling features of this particular shoe is the sole. And they've got this really, well, they normally have this really aggressive tread that is a great help if you are hiking. Now, most of the time, I've been just walking in cities and doing easy trail walking like here. But when I do kind of get off trail in some of the other areas, like yesterday I was out in an off trail area out of town and I've slipped several times and that's because there's not much of a tread left on these. The other thing about these shoes that makes them really different is you can probably notice already the wide toe box. That's something that I really like. And when I first bought these shoes a little over two years ago, I, I decided this is the only shoe that I want to wear anymore. And it's not just the toe box, that nice wide toe box. See, that's shaped like your foot. If you look at your foot, your foot should be shaped, or your shoe should be shaped like your foot is shaped. I don't think 
it's natural to cram your toes into uh, a normal shoe. So I've moved away from regular shoes and have been wearing shoes with a wider toe box just because I think it's more comfortable. But in switching to this shoe, I found another reason uh, that I think that this is a better shoe, and that is that you get better balance. And I think with this shoe in particular, it's not just the wide toe box being able to let your toes spread, because your toes really need to be able to spread in order to give you good balance. But also, this is a what they call a zero drop shoe, so that means that it doesn't have a heel. It might look like it looking at the shoe from the outside, but when you're wearing this shoe, it's very much like you are uh, standing barefoot. So these shoes are not only designed to give you that barefoot type experience, but uh, they are just very, very comfortable uh, all around, I think. Uh, they have a really breezy, airy design, and I just find them to be incredibly uh, comfortable. So they're really kind of more a warm weather shoe, but I've been wearing them quite a bit, uh, even when it's colder, just because I find I have better balance and I find that uh, I just have, have a more comfortable uh, way of walking. It's, it's just been much more comfortable. I can hike for miles in these where I can't in anything else that I've uh, used in the past. So I'm looking to replace these, and there's actually a little um, outdoor store here in town that sells these. And so I'm thinking that I might just go over, before I go to the grocery store, I might just go over and see if they have them in my size, in stock. And I think I might just buy a new pair. There's another couple of reasons that I want to buy them today uh, here, uh, especially here in Mendocino. And we'll we'll see if if they've got them in stock. We'll uh, we'll go see if I actually shell out the cash for these. And if I do, I'll explain the other part of that. It's busy here in town today. I don't know why. It's not the weekend. Anyway, there's the store. Let's hop in. See if they have my size. Okay. I didn't realize just how wore out those old shoes were. These are so much better. I mean, I don't like the price, but uh, I paid it, so 150 bucks for shoes. But if I get two years of use out of them, I guess it's okay. Uh, and my feet actually feel better already. Okay, now off to the grocery store. <laughs> I was so uh, preoccupied with my new shoes and how great my feet feel. Uh, and just the difference between the old shoes and the new shoes. I wasn't realizing that there was a raven squawking away and there's a ranger that was uh, telling somebody that, yeah, there's ravens up in the tree up there. Apparently they're mating, so they're making quite a lot of noise. I don't know if you noticed it. I think it was pretty loud, so you probably did. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, now off to the grocery store. Okay, I didn't buy a whole lot. Um, I needed some bread. I've been eating a lot of sandwiches lately and grilled cheese sandwiches mostly. Uh, so I thought to kind of get away from that, I would, um, not that there's anything wrong with grilled cheese, but it's not the most nutritious thing. Um, but I bought a cucumber, hoping to uh, use that for sandwiches. Probably be just be a cheese sandwich with cucumber, but you know, 
maybe not a grilled cheese sandwich, so slightly better for me. Not really, I guess. Um, and a couple of potatoes. I'll uh, chop those up and get them par-cooked for other things. And same with an onion. I bought a red onion. I'll chop this up, cook it, uh, put that aside so I can use it for things. And probably mostly for eggs, which I bought some more of. These were on sale. Um, free range brown eggs. Uh, so not the best of price, but not bad. I think they were $5 for the dozen, or were they $4? No, I think they were five. I think they were four ninety nine for the dozen. Um, and I bought some hot dogs. This is from a company that does really uh, good quality beef. That's close by. The Eel River is the brand, and that's uh, an area that's close by here in Northern California. So these are kind of natural type hot dogs. Well, I guess these are actually organic, but um, I don't like to buy hot dogs very often, but uh, in a little store like this, things are not the cheapest. So I'm not too inclined to buy meat in a little store like this, just because it's one of the more expensive items. Um, so I figured the hot dogs would give me a little bit of protein without uh, breaking the bank. Although they weren't exactly cheap, but they were the one of the cheaper uh, choices there. And I have been hungry for snacky things, so I've bought a couple bag of kettle chips because they were on sale. Uh, two for five bucks. Again, not the greatest price ever, but um, in a store like this, in a little town like this, generally stores like these are really outrageously priced. Everything, they just kind of gouge you. This place does not, which is nice. I mean, they sell organic stuff, which is going to be more expensive, and they sell kind of higher quality meat and stuff, which is more expensive. But it's not a crazy expensive store, which I really like. Uh, I'm used to not buying stuff, uh, not buying groceries when I'm out and about. I can't fit, fit these in the fridge right now. That'll have to do. I'll have to do that later. Um, I have a little bit of food in the fridge, not a whole lot, but I do like to stay ahead of things. But anyway, um, like I was saying, cool of this store not to just gouge everybody and it's kind of it seems like a theme here in town uh, it's not a cheap place but you know they they kind of take care of their local people and this is a local store because there's not a whole lot else to choose from unless you want to take a little drive north I think like nine miles away is a Safeway uh, I don't find Safeway to be a cheap store to shop at so for me, it's cheaper for me to just shop here in town versus driving, you know, about 20 miles round trip to a store that I find to be expensive, which is Safeway up in Fort Bragg. So that's why I did a little bit of shopping here. And um, I think now that my shopping is done and now that I have new hiking shoes, I think it'd be a good idea to take a little hike. Okay, I just did some checking on Google, and just about three and a half miles south of town is a little trail with a blowhole, and I have been wanting to check it out, so it's uh, not too far away, and I do need to break in the new shoes, so I think this is the time to go down and try and see if we can find it. I don't know much about it, but it's a trail. It's near the water. I think it's a good place to go and check out. parking here on Airport Road, but we're actually heading back behind the cemetery there. There is a little parking in front of the cemetery, but Route 1 there is a little bit busy and this was a little quieter, so I opted to park here. Well, I couldn't find a whole lot of information online about this trail, 
Uh, so I'm not really sure where to go. I'm just kind of feeling my way out here. But there does look like there might be a trail through the back of the cemetery. Don't know. Oh no, there is not. Well, let's see. Confusing signage here. So there's this sign that says there's no access to the bluff. But then... There's this side that says we are on the right track. I'm going to believe this sign. Okay, uh, you know how I admitted earlier that I'm not crazy about heights? Well, I think I did. Uh, if I didn't, I am now. I don't really care for heights too much. Um, sometimes, sometimes I get a little vertigo sensation, although it's been a little while, but I'm getting that vertigo here. There is a steep drop-off here, and I mean steep. Um, it kind of looks like the trail goes in two different directions, so I'm not really sure which is the correct way. But I went down over here, and there is a little trail, but there is a just a steep drop off on the side of that trail, and I'm not so sure I want to uh, attempt it today. You can make fun of me if you want, but I don't really feel like walking down that trail. I'm going to try another... Just gonna tiptoe over uh, again and just try it again, but wow, this is a steep drop. I think I'm gonna go around and check the uh, north trail that that sign mentioned. Maybe it's a little more gentle of a hike down. Yeah, I know I've got new hiking shoes and all, and they're feeling really good, but um, I'm not feeling so good standing at the precipice there. So uh, let's go around and see if we can find another way down. I'm not sure this is the right way. It almost seems like it's taken me back to where I came from. It sure is pretty back here though, I have to say. And there is a little view of the ocean. So it's a nice little walk. I don't know if I'm gonna get down to the, uh, to the base of that blowhole though. Because I'm sure not taking that other trail. Yeah, I don't think this is the right trail either. This has taken me right back to where I started. I just basically walked around the cemetery. Because that's the blowhole there. Hmm, interesting. Well, I'm not sure, but I think the opening to the blowhole is right below me. Does it seem odd that the ground is soft here? <laughs> I'm ready for it to open up and me fall through. That'd be a plunge, wouldn't it? It'd be a fun ride, but uh, probably the last ride you ever took. Maybe there's no way down. Hmm. I'll keep, keep walking, keep exploring here. Sure is pretty out here. So I wonder if this is a better reference. That's the little uh, fence that I was standing at when I first got to the edge here. And you can see that tree for uh, kind of scale and just how steep it is. And then that little kind of washed out area there, 
Oh, I just lost it. Here we go. So that little washed out area there, that is what looks like a trail that people were taking down, but boy, that looks awful steep. And I'm sure you couldn't go all the way down, but you can probably get to about there before you would just slide down the water slide. Well, I guess that kind of says it all there, doesn't it? Uh, it doesn't look like there's any safe way down to the bottom of this. I'm just now realizing that I was presuming that there is a trail down to the bottom, but I don't I don't know why I thought that. Uh, maybe I was just thinking because it would be cool to see it from the bottom. Uh, but this is pretty cool up here. Uh, the one, the one thing about you know how I do things is I usually don't do much research. If I see a place that I want to check out, I just don't research it because it kind of takes the fun out of it once I get to the spot. So sometimes that kind of lets me down a little bit. So like here, I was thinking that there was a trail to the bottom, which obviously there isn't, at least not a safe one. Uh, be a quick one over there, but uh, yeah, not a safe one down. But this is still a fun place to come to and walk around a little bit. So definitely worth the trip out here for me. Uh, but just one little observation. If you don't like heights, this is probably not the little trek for you. Uh, there are quite a number of steep drop-offs and you have to walk very, very close to them. Uh, there are some little fencing areas to kind of give you a sense of security, but um, yeah, like I said, if you don't like heights, you may want to steer clear of this one. Well, this is very, very cool, but let's go to a place that's a little more to my liking. Oh yeah, this is much more my speed. This is pretty nice. This is uh, Van Dam State Beach. I'm gonna have to bleep that out, aren't I? And there's showers there. There's uh, campground across Route 1 over there. And there are some restrooms over there. Haven't checked them out yet, but uh, sure they're fine. But yeah, this has got everything. Well, I usually open my back doors, but I can't with that big concrete block there. So, don't have a view out the back, but this'll do. Well, I need to eat something. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast this morning, but since I have some of this good bread, and this is local bread, this is baked right in uh, Fort Bragg, which is just a few miles north of here. I bought a loaf of this last week and really liked it, so. Uh, they got my business again, and I think I'm gonna make a cheese and cucumber sandwich I didn't have any mayonnaise, but I just opened up a jar of pasta sauce, so I used that as a dressing. And yeah, that's a nice little summery sandwich. So I think uh, since I don't have a view out my back doors, I might as well just get out and sit out at the thing blocking me from opening my back doors so I can get a little view. That was a good sandwich. I, uh, I like sourdough a lot, and uh, sometimes when you're traveling, it can be really hard to find good sourdough. You can always find something, but it's hard to find good sourdough. And that is a good brand of sourdough. I'm very happy with it. So it makes eating something simple like 
just a basic sandwich so much better when you've got really good ingredients. So Tillamook cheese, the cucumber was a really good idea. Not so sure about the uh, pasta sauce as a dressing, but it was all I had, so um, it worked out fine. But uh, yeah, good sandwich. Okay, now I want dessert. So we all know what that's gonna be. Well, maybe we all don't, but for me that's coffee. Uh, I've had a bit of a sweet tooth in the past, and I've been having a slight sweet tooth lately, but I've not been letting myself buy stuff like ice cream and cakes and cookies uh, just because it's a little bit expensive and I need to spend money on things that I need, not things that uh, I just get a craving for. So kind of make maybe takes me back to the shoe thing. You know, these are really expensive shoes and it took me a long time to decide that I want to drop $150 on a pair of shoes, even if they do last a couple of years. It's a lot of money to spend on shoes. But by cutting out things that I don't really need, like sweets, I can then spend money on things that I actually need. And I've been noticing here over the last few hours of wearing these new shoes that uh, I think it was really time. Uh, the last several weeks I've been noticing my big toe on my right foot seems to get kind of uh, scraped as I walk along. I don't know the right word for it there, but it'll get kind of rubbed raw. And I was thinking it was my socks for a while, but I think now that it was probably my shoes because I've not noticed it here today so far, but I have been noticing it whenever I walk around with the old shoes. So I think those old shoes were just so wore out that they were causing me problems. So, um, probably should have taken a much longer walk today because these shoes are so comfortable. But anyway, we'll do that in the future. Lots and lots of walks in the future. I have no reason to not do any hiking or walking. So thinking about how I took a chance on the sourdough and it ended up being really good and sometimes it isn't but this one was really good I was just thinking about the coffee that I'm drinking here today this I took a chance on I bought this last week when I was grocery shopping in the same little store that I shopped at this morning and I've never heard of this company before but they are kind of a local company out of Ukiah so not too far away but uh, Black Oak Coffee Roasters and they had a number of different roasts. Uh, this brand had a number of different roasts and they had two different light roasts. And this is the one I picked and I'm not really sure I should have picked this one because this is a natural process coffee and that has to do with how they process the coffee cherries. And it, simply put, a natural process means that the coffee is going to be a little bit funky uh, and that's because they leave the coffee cherry on the bean uh, instead of washing it breaking it and washing it off like they do with most uh, coffees um, well i think they actually break it off but they don't wash uh, the coffee bean off so you still have some coffee cherry and coffee cherry juice stuck to the bean and so that's that's the natural process. That's what that means when you see that. When I see natural on the label, I usually avoid it because I'm not always a fan of that funky taste. Um, sometimes it's a little strong, sometimes it's not so much. And uh, this one is pretty, pretty strong. But I bought it because it's Ethiopian and I really like Ethiopian coffee. Over the last few years, Ethiopian coffee just seems to be my favorite. This one, because it's natural processed, and it's got that, you know, George Clinton-ness to it. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm liking the light roast. I'm not really liking the funk. But anyway, uh, I'm drinking it and got, you know, half a bag down over the last week of working away at this. And I'm enjoying it a little bit more. I've had to tweak my coffee making though in order for me to actually really enjoy it. Uh, I was grinding it wrong. Uh, so I changed the settings on my grinder and I'm enjoying it a little bit more. 
but uh, yeah, I hit it out of the park with the sourdough, but not quite so much choosing this coffee. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. It's still tasty stuff. Okay, here's the moment of truth. How did I do? It's good. It definitely has a bit of that skunky, funky flavor, but um, I did a good job with this one. Well, it's been quiet here since I've been here, but um, all of a sudden the last few minutes it's starting to uh, get almost crowded here. Probably people are getting off of work and bringing their kids down to enjoy the beach. Um, this has been a very pleasant day, and I would say the weather's been just about perfect. And I should probably get out and walk around a little bit. Oh, let me grab my coffee and uh, walk around this area a little bit. I've never been here, so should explore a little while I'm here. So this is a rather small beach and you do get a little bit of road noise because it's right off of Route 1 here, but it's definitely a good place to check out. Uh, the other thing I should mention is the campground that is right across Route 1 is supposed to be a really nice one. Uh, now I'm not a campground person so I haven't stayed there personally, but I've heard lots of great things about it over the years uh, and I was actually just talking to somebody in the parking lot here about it and they were saying it's a really great campground. So um, definitely a place to check out, uh, lots to see and do here. Uh, one little downside is I basically have no cell service. I have two bars of LTE uh, on Verizon. I have visible as a carrier, so that's a Verizon uh, service, but um, I can't really access anything at all. So one little downside. I don't know if that's different over in the campground. It might be. Uh, we're kind of stuck in between some cliffs here down on the beach, so that may be what's going on there. Well, this has been an enjoyable place to hang out for the day. And even though the hike didn't go the way I wanted it to go earlier, uh, this spot certainly turned out well. So I'm glad I came out in this direction today, but of course I can't stay here too much longer because uh, this parking lot is closed uh, about now, I think. So I better get uh, some place that I can park for the night. And then I did have one little thing I wanted to talk about kind of related to my new hiking shoes, but let me go find a parking spot and we'll have a little chat in just a moment. Okay, I am parked up for the night in an undisclosed location and I should probably eat some dinner. I, uh, I intended to do a little food prep while I was at the beach there, but I was just enjoying being out and chatting with people and just enjoying the area that I didn't do any prep. I just was outside, which is where I want to be most of the time. I want to be outside, don't want to be in the van, stuck in the van. So this has been a good day. I've been outside walking around, uh, getting to meet people and talk to people and enjoying the area. It's just been a fantastic day. Um, but I did have a little thing I wanted to talk about with my new shoes. So for one, I'm really loving these shoes. Uh, these shoes are not for everybody. And uh, 
I don't mention them to try to make sales for this company. In fact, I don't think I've said the name of the company, but if you are interested, these are from a company called Ultra, and these are their Lone Peak uh, shoes. And these are my favorite shoes of all time. Uh, these are slightly different than my old pair. Uh, they are an updated version of my old pair. This company makes little revisions from time to time, and they are slightly different. They have a slightly different feel, but uh, I, I like them just as well so far uh, after wearing them a full day. So anyway, I think this is a good uh, purchase, even though it was an expensive purchase and not really one that I made lightly. Uh, but I think I'm happy that I bought them. And the one thing I just wanted to say was I wanted to buy them here in the town of Mendocino because uh, this has been a really uh, open town, a very friendly town, and that's something that I like. Uh, and if I find a town that is friendly to travelers and is kind of open to travelers coming through and spending some time in their town, I do like to reward that. And so I've been buying some groceries here in town, uh, what I need. I've not been buying much, but I've been buying some groceries just as a way to uh, repay the kind of nice feel and vibe that the town has. And uh, so that's why I wanted to buy these shoes, these expensive shoes here, just as a thank you to the town for being so friendly uh, to travelers, because not all towns are that way. And I don't want to start a little thing, but uh, I left San Diego not by choice. I wanted to stay in San Diego. I wanted San Diego to be my uh, home base, basically. I'd stay there when I didn't feel like traveling, and then uh, when I wanted to travel, just go and travel around the area, but always go back to San Diego. I can't do that anymore. Uh, I And again, I don't want to get into it, but uh, I wasn't able to stay in San Diego. Uh, and so because I wasn't able to stay in San Diego, uh, you better believe that I will not be spending another dime of my money in San Diego. And I encourage anybody else uh, to not visit San Diego. Uh, don't spend any time there. Don't spend any money there. Uh, even if you're not a van lifer, you know, even if you want to go to San Diego and rent a house or get a, a hotel room or something, I would encourage you not to just because the city has changed and uh, has not been an inviting place for people. And uh, I think that's as much as I want to get into it uh, there about that. If you are a patron uh, of mine or a YouTube member, you know a little more of the story there, but uh, that's as much as I want to get into it there. But anyway, um, I like to reward places that are good places uh, with good people. And so that's why I made this big purchase here. And what, what kind of drove me to do that? I think in the long run, it's better for me because you know, my feet feel so much better uh, today after walking around in these new shoes. I think I mentioned it earlier, but I didn't realize how bad my old shoes were. They were just really in poor condition. And I'm on my feet most of the day walking around and hiking. So I think it's a good purchase to have a good pair of shoes. I just hope that these last at least a couple of years like my old ones did. Time will tell. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to kind of touch on that. Um, I'm, I'm a little... Uh, triggered about the whole situation with San Diego, so I probably won't be answering any more questions about it. I think I've said as much as I want to say about it, and uh, maybe in the future I'll address it on a video, uh, but it's pretty upsetting to me, the whole San Diego thing. Like I said, I wanted to be in San Diego uh, as a home base. That's not going to happen, so uh, I'm actually looking at maybe Mendocino being a home base for me. We'll see. Um, certainly a place I like being, and I certainly can't just stay here. So uh, maybe it'll be a place I come back to regularly. Uh, seems like the locals here would be open to that. And so yeah, it's something I'm thinking about. 
Anyway, I'm going to make uh, some dinner, something quick and easy, maybe some more eggs, and call it quits here. Um, just want to thank everybody that uh, watches. I know most people don't watch all the way to the end here, and I should probably thank my patron uh, people, everybody that is supporting me on Patreon and YouTube memberships. I really want to give you a big, huge thank you for doing that. Uh, your support is huge for me, especially right now, and so uh, I hope you know that I really do appreciate you uh, all. And of course, everybody that watches to the end of my videos, I know sometimes they can get long and uh, not everybody makes it this far, but uh, if you have, thank you so much. And to everybody, even if you don't watch all this way, maybe you're not going to hear me say this, but uh, to everybody, I just want to thank everybody for watching. I really do appreciate it.